Okay, time to take a look at Second Street. This is a used shop here in Sapporo, Southern District of Sapporo. I just went in there last night and they have, man, they got a lot of winter gear laid out. In the summer, it's all camping and outdoor equipment, tents and sleeping bags and stuff like that. Now half of the shop has been converted into winter gear. There's some Burton AK, lots of jackets, lots of pants, boots, skis, poles, gloves, snowshoes, ice axes, like anything. And even look at this, some classic wear. I found this one, a West Beach jacket. For those who have been around for a while, you'll remember the West Beach brand. Pretty cool stuff. And 8,690 yen right there, S size. Yeah, look at the little patch, West Beach. Not scushy, that's a classic for sure. So you can find really, you know, kind of old stuff. Um, there's new stuff or fairly new stuff. And then there's all these kind of little, uh, there's like wax like that. Uh, there was waxing irons. Uh, some of the stuff is like, you know, new still in the box like this. Some of the stuff uh, is used, but they've tried to keep the quality pretty high. Like the selection of gear in there is stuff that's been taken care of. You know, it's not just total junk. So, you know, the prices are not super cheap, but they're not super expensive either. It's definitely going to be cheaper than buying something new. They got backpacks, uh, tons of skis. There's a classic uh, Burton. With a, someone signed that one. Rest in peace, Jake Burton. An old cruiser. Look at all this stuff. Look at all these boots. Look at all these skis. And the place was empty, man. It's a good time to get in there right now and try and find, you know, something that you might need for the season. Even uh, kids stuff. There was a lot of kids stuff. They got a whole section here kids boots there's a lot of these used shops all over Sapporo uh, this one definitely has you know a better selection uh, from what I've seen look at these they've even got some handmade Yuki Ita this one I don't know if this is this must be somebody's like handmade board it just says wood stick that one's kind of cool and there were some uh, American made uh, oh what were they called I forgot the name um, I found this Burton classic in a box of just sort of like junk boards, I guess they're considering. I don't know if they don't know what this is or no one just buys this stuff. I, I was really tempted to buy it, but I just, I just didn't buy it. I might go back today and just buy this board like 5,900 yen. I don't know. It seems like a bargain. Another 10 years, this thing will probably be worth some money. Uh, I had to like do a little tweak in the and then another tweak and then a cross rocket why not you know you got to do something it's classic boards what a classic board uh there used to be more classic boards at these shops back in the day now they just you know people they just i don't know there's not really a huge collector's community or maybe the collector's community is all online so they don't really sell these boards in the shops maybe they just sell them online this is a burton fish a classic Burton fish board. Um, I wouldn't ride it now, but it'd be pretty cool to put on your wall, you know. Uh, what would that one cost? That was uh, a little more expensive. That was uh, 180 bucks or something like that. With the exchange right now, maybe 150 bucks. Pretty clean, good condition. There's some more junk boards there for you. So lots of stuff at the Second Street out door shop location right now. If you're in the market for some used gear for winter, they had a ton of freestyle boards. Uh, I don't have much interest in them, so I didn't look at those, but tons and tons of boards. Go check it out. There's the address. There's the phone number. Get on it. Get yourself some winter gear and you will be good.